the Department of Biotechnology under the Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India has awarded the Star College Scheme to DAV College Patenda. Under this scheme, a grant of Rs 44 lakhs has been sanctioned to two science departments, Physics and Chemistry, as the strength, as strengthening component for the implementing practical and research-based teaching and learning. For demonstrating the important laws of physics, a state-of-the-art innovation hub has been set up in the Department of Physics. An innovation hub is a place which provides facilities to nurture new ideas and help develop inquisitive perspective in youths of today. These hubs serve as springboards for new ideas and innovation and thus help the society and economy to face future challenges and meet the rising aspirations of the growing population. I now invite Dr. Kulbinder Man to enlighten our audience about the same. First of all, I want to say that I want to say that I want to say that I want to indicate that I want to say that I want to say that तब मैं बैठा एक कर सोच रहा था मैं बोल के जाऊंगा क्योंकि उस तो बिना तो मेरा ही दे दिया जो कर गया सारे यार इतना इतना टाइम औखा टाइम ना सी देख क्या सबने उस तो बाद में बहुत टाइम बाद में फंक्शन हो रहा है इस तरह का तो देख चुका हूँ खुशी की है तो प्रतिनिधि सरदा मैं थैंक्स इस करके करना and the third important thing is that we have pointed out that we have a playground that we have a lot of ways to make it all so thank you very much so I will within 3 or 4 minutes I will complete it so most esteemed chief guest professor Dr. V. S. Sujuri vice chancellor of Maharaja Ranji Singh Pajam Technical University of Canada chairman and Dr. P. Pinoriyaji. Guest of Honor, Dr. Sujit Singh, Principal, Government Indra College, Bhatinda. Officiating Principal, Shri Tarveen Kumarji. Retired staff members, Registrar and IQC Coordinator, Dr. Prakosu Gupta Ji. Staff Secretary, Shri Kovan Kumarji. Head of Departments of all the departments. State Officer, Professor Vikas Kandiya Ji. Students of both offices, uh, accounts and general office, uh, Shri B.K. Uh, Sharma and Shri Rajendra Ji. And all my colleagues and everyone present here, very good afternoon to all of you. It is a matter of honor for me to speak before such a learned audience about the DVT Star College Scheme. This scheme is for strengthening component for UG science departments. Both physics and chemistry departments of our college have been covered under Star College scheme. I would like to explain about the basic aim and objectives of this scheme. So the basic aim of this scheme is to fill the gap caused by missed practical training up to plus two level. As all we know that how the practicals are conducted up to plus two level. So from the gap, I mean the lack of practical training that is missed among the students that are going to take admission in BSA. So I want to share one fact with you. Every parent want to make his or her kid either engineer or doctor and this unrealistic wish creates a very hard competition after plus two thus majority of students have to appear for two important exams one is JDE other is NEET from the successful students on an average 30 percent of students get admission in reputed colleges, but 70% students feel rejected or their failure. About 50% from this 70%, that is 35% students, 
get admission in other reputed colleges also. But remaining 35% from remaining 35 students, 25% students wants to go abroad and we get only 10% students to get admission in BSc. And all these students feel hopeless cases. Moreover, they do not have any practical training which is mandatory or expected before taking admission in BSc as per the prescribed syllabus of the universities. Thus, majority students lose their interest in science studies. So, our first and the foremost duty is to revive their lost interest in sciences. Then, provided them required practical training to fill the gap so that after completing their graduations, they can compete at the global level. In the year 2008, DBT, Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology has started to provide financial support to colleges with well-qualified science staff. This strengthening grant aims to enrich science labs and libraries with multiple copies of equipment and books to provide quality science education and training to students so that these students will choose science as their career and pursue higher studies in sciences. So the objective of this scheme can be abbreviated in five words that is SMART, S-M-A-R-T. So as for strengthening of labs and library, M motivating students for hands-on practical training, A augmentation of interdisciplinary activities, R refinement and repair of existing lab equipments, T for training for lab staff and students. To achieve these objectives, our faculty members of physics and chemistry departments are putting their best efforts. We have organized many online activities like webinars, online poster making competitions, virtual lab trainings, virtual lab visits, ESOPs, and create journals club and set up innovation hub for live demonstrations of physics principles. It, this innovation hub contains 25 physics demonstrations related to theory taught at UG level. With each demonstration, many experiments can be performed. This hub has been established with the help of Professor Y.K. Vijay, retired VC of Jaipur University and in collaboration with IAPT, that is Indian Association of Physics Teachers. All demonstrations are focused on inculcating students' interest in sciences and making it easier for students to understand various concepts of physics in a playful way. So, it is my open invitation to all the individuals for visiting the Innovation Hub of our department. Thank you for your patience. Thank you very much.